following with testimonies from several witnesses, including perpetrators and victims of the National Intelligence Agency, the Truth Reconciliation and Reparation Commission has on Monday begun its 18th session of the public hearings. Still on its institutional hearings, the Commission will hear more testimonies on NIA brutality, including issues of enforced disappearances and extrajudicial killings. Fatma Takasim has more details of that in this report. During the 17th session, the Truth Commission have heard testimonies from 300 witnesses. 231 of these witnesses were male and 69 were female. At the opening of the 18th session on Monday, the chairman of the commission, Lamin JCC, said the commission is established for reconciliation as well as to seek truth and not to bring conflict among Gambians. The TRRC was not established in a post-armed conflict environment in the Gambia. The establishment of such post-conflict commissions have traditionally been the culmination of uh, peace negotiations which call for creation of truth-seeking and the reconciliation mechanisms. While such mechanism is indeed a central objective of the TRRC, as enshrined them in the 2017 Act, it was created in a post-authoritarian transition. The testimonies of witnesses who appeared before the commission confirmed that the former president, Yahya Jame, was using the National Intelligence Agency and a death squad as the jungler to carry out massive brutality and extrajudicial killings of the ordinary citizens and political opponents. The chairman said this has helped the former president, Jame, to drive for over decades. The institutions of the state enabled the dictatorship to thrive uh, for over two decades. It is imperative, therefore, that the TRRC examine thoroughly the weaknesses and the failures of the relevant state institutions, especially the NIA, that facilitated or enabled the Jami regime to violate on a massive scale the human rights of the citizens of the Gambia. The NIA, from the testimonies of victims that have either appeared before the Commission or submitted written statements, was the primary instrument of um, fear and the terror on the dictatorship, of, of the dictatorship. CISA said the Commission will find it immensely helpful to receive more information on the remaining themes in its work plan. Some of the remaining topics to be covered by the Commission includes enforced disappearances and extrajudicial killings, alleged committed by the National Intelligence Agency and the Jungler's Jamis Death Squad. The Commission will find it immensely helpful to receive more information on the remaining themes in its um, work plan, including the enforced um, disappearances of uh, people like Chief Ibrahim Mane, Sol Ndao, and Maawa Cham, among others. Also, information regarding the massacre of an estimated 56 West African migrants in 2005. We therefore continue to urge all persons, especially victims of any human rights violations that occurred between July 1994 and January 2017, to please come forward and share their information or experiences with the Commission. Please rest assured that your confidentiality will be strictly guarded by the Commission. So far, the Commission has heard testimonies from 300 witnesses and of these 231 were male and 69 were female. Out of the total number of witnesses who appeared before the Commission since January last year, 191 are victims and 51 are self-confessed perpetuators and adversely mentioned persons. 
28 witnesses from the Gambian diaspora have testified via video link. These hearings also included several protected witnesses and close door testimonies. For iAfrica TV, I am Fatou Matakasim.